Hey, so check it out. Here we have a gorgeous, gorgeous limba and purple heart flute. It does have a little subtle curl in the grain. Oh, can you see it there? Shimmering right on the side there, over through the top. It's subtle. Oh, limba, I've never seen a really pronounced curl in it, but it's definitely there in the right lighting. Really, really sweet. The grain pattern's even better. I love the dark streaks that show up in a lot of limba. Really, really sweet. The purple heart is just really popping on this one. Purple heart end caps and that blue turquoise dot inlay is looking great on this. Really, really beautiful piece and sound super clear, super sweet, super vibrant. And this is a B, Hijat's alternating drone flute. And so Arabian drone flutes are unique in that they have half step notes. So you're gonna get a little rub or distant dissonance while playing um, the drone flute with certain notes. So I'm gonna use an example. The very first note is a half step. So when you play a half step with a drone, it's a there's a rub there. So it, it gives it a real haunting effect. Some people may not like it. That's why I love having the alternating drone because you can actually choose to lift this while playing the half step note so then you don't get the rub. And that might take a little bit of time to learn, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So you can see those second two notes, the second and third note there, they really just sound great with that drone, but that first one had that that's, um, that's what I mean by a rub. Some people really like that for an effect in a, um, in a song and it really creates this kind of haunting feel to it. And I'd say also in like say in sound healing and stuff, um, it depends on who you are. Some people only want the sweetest sounds, but if you think of sound healing, sometimes maybe the purpose of going through this uh, sound healing process is to move energy, right? Move energy, shake things up. And sometimes that rub or some certain really kind of more, um, let's call it disruptive sounds. The purpose that I would use that for would be to um, loosen up some of that stuck energy and then end that sound healing experience with more um, really beautiful um, healing sounds. So anyway, I'm not, I guess what I'm saying is the rub isn't always bad. And so then we also have the alternating hole and that's gonna rub against this note here. So let's play with this pinky open for a sec. That's that rub on that note. So it takes some time to be able to be strategic in what you're playing, but Aside from that, overall, this is an amazing, just beautiful sounding flute, great clear tone. It is available. I just wanted to point out those couple little things so you didn't get it and say, there's something wrong with this flute. Okay, so here it is.